In section two of this course, we will explore the Wireshark 3 interface in detail. We will go through each of the main menus and explore many of the important sub-menu items. The first menu item that we will explore is the file menu. When you first open Wireshark, press on the file menu, which is usually the most go-to menu to perform many of your operations. The first sub-menu item is open. It will allow you to open a pre-captured file. You just press on that, select the pre-captured file and press on open. It will load the content in the Wireshark view. The next sub-menu item is the open recent. As you can see, it lists many of the recent files that you have worked with. Sometimes it can get very busy here, so you have the option to clear the menu. The third sub-menu item is the merge button. It will allow you to combine a current file that you are working with with a previously captured file. We will see that going further in the course, but it is important to note that timestamps need to be synced as you will be working with a one combined file. The fourth submenu item is the import from hex dump. If you click on that, it will allow you to import a hex dump or a package stream file that you probably receive from a colleague for inspection. You just have to select the file here, select hexadecimal as offset, and use the Ethernet as encapsulation type. The fifth submenu item is the close button. So if you are working with a file, you can easily go to the file menu and close it. If you have done any changes to the file, it will ask you to save it. Else, you can just press on close to simply close it. Save and save as. As been said earlier, if you are working with a file and you need to save the changes that you've done, you can press the save button. And for save as, suppose that you have done working with a file and you want to save it as another file type, you just press on save as and you can see the myriad of file extension types that are supported by Wireshark. I will close that for now. The file set menu option will usually include a couple of files. So if you are working with sample files, for example, you're creating an access control list for a firewall, you can just list your file set here and you can navigate from one file to another using the file set option, next file and previous file. This was basically the most important features of the file menu.